set is all that we have. There's only nine match numbered sets. Of course, Annex, first day of issue, 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. So if you want, and look, I understand it's 75, 99, 95. It's not for everybody. It's almost two ounces of pure gold that's in there. All four coins are perfect. All four coins are, are certified and match numbered that you're going to have from the very first day of issue. I mean, it's just a spectacular opportunity. You have the intrinsic value of the numismatic value of the conditional value. You have the provenance of the first day of issue. You put all of those things together. I mean, it's kind of the ultimate collectible at $75.99.95. Yes. Oh, absolutely. And three flex pays on that. Again, you could spread your payments out over three months. This is for, you know, kind of the ultimate collector. And here's the other thing you have to understand, and I say it repeatedly, you and I can't pull this stuff together. You know, we have to, we have to rely on people like Mike who can have, he has the resources. Uh, let's talk a little bit about grading, but because these all are 70, they're perfect. That's so rare because going is a very, uh, gold is a very soft metal. And it's sold out. <laughs> and go. it's really rare because it's not available anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We will have that? a discussion about that later because, yeah, you, you guys, the difference between silver and gold is gold is a very soft, very pliable metal, and so it's very, very hard to get higher grades in gold. And so when Mike has to invest in it, he not only has to invest so much more because he's buying gold, but he has to get as many coins as he can because they grade so poorly because it is a very soft metal. So that's kind of the story behind between gold and silver. All right, guys, we're going to do a really quick little encore on the big and, quite frankly, very exciting Morgan set that we have, celebrating the 100th anniversary of an incredibly rare coin and this is actually this coin right here is 101 years old it, it literally was minted back in 1921 and mike we're going to give this just a couple of more minutes as we wrap up the first hour heading into the second hour because it is wildly popular uh really quick how many do i have left i'm sorry there's eight only okay there's eight sets left <laughs> this is the last chance you're going to get out of 300 sets, we love, it's the first and the last chance you have to get this set because it's going to be sold out here in a second. So, Mike, can you just give us a quick review on this in case someone yeah, missed it last the hour? The Silver Dollar is the most popularly collected vintage coin on the planet today. Uh, everybody, that's what I collected when I was 12. It's what everybody collects. And we always hope to put together a high-grade set of Morgan Silver Dollars if you had an extra 8 or 10 or 12 or $15 million put aside. Well, now you can collect every single Morgan Silver Dollar by mint type. Uh, from all five mints, certified absolutely positively perfect, plus the peace dollar in absolutely perfect condition. Five of the six rarest Morgans, the rarest peace silver dollar in absolutely perfect condition. They were released by the United States Mint last year as a 100th anniversary, so they made it 100 years later. It's like the 1999 Susan B. Anthony dollar we started the show with. I mean, they, they had a 20-year hiatus. Well, this time they had a 100-year hiatus. And it's the exact same thing. Normally when they do these... Uh, commemoratives, they do them in a different metal. They do them in gold or they do them in platinum or whatever it is. This they did in silver. This is a Morgan silver dollar. This is a continuation of the set. This is your only opportunity to get a mint state 70 set of Morgan silver dollars, 300 match numbered sets. We started this hour with 190 left. There are eight sets remaining. Understand, these are also very important, the advanced release coins. These are the coins, that 10% of coins that was released. It is a one-year-only program last year to 18 specialized dealers from the United States Mint. We went ahead and we were one of those 18 dealers. This is the, These are all we were able to get out of our allocation of those coins. We had 300 match numbered sets. We had a few of the individual coins. We had individual Carson Cities. Those are sold out. We had individual Esmonds. Those are sold out. The D Mints, we didn't have any extra individuals. The Peace Dollar individual is about to sell out. The set is the only way to get the Carson City. Like I said, we sold out the Carson Cities at 520 bucks. Value the 1921 Morgan in this, you're looking at $399 a coin for advanced release, our first release annex coins, 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. Final half dozen sets. Like I said, I told you this would be my final primetime presentation. This is one of the great numismatic opportunities I think you will ever have an opportunity to get. It'll be the last of the Mint State Morgan Silver Dollars as special collector's uh, items. Like I said, they're not reprinted or redone. This is an actual Morgan Silver Dollar dated 2021. And real uh, quick, true. Carson City sold out individually at five, over $500, right? Yes. And what about the rest of them here? Uh, the s sold out. We just saw that. We sold that out earlier. Uh, the piece, gone. we have to know where the piece dollar is. We have offered that individually. There was 81 coins. I suspect we're down to 20 or 30. 
Uh, so this is, uh, like I said, I mean, we had we had 90 of these to start the hour. We have two or three sets left is all that we have. Final opportunities for our our first release, advanced release, Annex uh, Morgan Silver Dollar Set, all five Morgans from all five mints, Philadelphia, Denver, San Francisco, uh, Carson City, and New Orleans, all in perfect mint state 70. The 2021 immediate sellout coins includes the Peace Dollar from 2021 and an original Morgan Silver Dollar in brilliant uncirculated condition from 1921. You can see the difference as the silver has toned for a hundred years, and we finally get to see what uh, uh, George T. Morgan had in his mind's eye when he designed this in 1876 and 1877. Fantastic, fantastic opportunity. All right, guys, we'll keep you updated on that because we do expect that to sell it here in just a couple of moments, and I'll let you know when it's gone. All right, we're heading into a second hour, and again, you know, I was saying this earlier, if you missed the first hour, whenever I get ready to do a coin show, I come in, and, and honestly, what's so cool about what Mike does is there'll be so many last-minute changes, even when I've gone on the air, they will <laughs> hand me changes live on the air because this is all kind of a fluid world. For those of you who collect from Mike, you go online early. That's why by the time we get on the air, we have half the quantity. We have five items, you know, five pieces left. For those of you who are new to the show, it's exciting because Mike brings us these really rare, really unusual things. Well, we have two actual launches tonight that are absolutely brand new and they were saved for this hour specifically. It's so cool. The first we're going to feature is 2021. This is a perfect NGC W Mint T2 Burnished Silver Eagle Flag Core Coin. Mike, can you give us 30 seconds on this before we head into this hour? We have, I've not had this coin since it was released uh, six months ago. I've got an extraordinarily limited opportunity. I've never done this before on HSN with our flag core, my exclusive flag core. Remember, that's only available to me. I've got 200 coins and 200 coins only. The rarest of all of the Type 2 American Silver Eagles, I think, that, that, that uh, certainly that was made last year, maybe that will ever be made by the United States Mint. We have got them right now in Mint State 70, flag core, exclusive to me. 284.95, 200, 200 coins only. You need to get this in right here, right now. Yes, and we'll explain too. If you're not, you're like, what's type two? One of the biggest stories that ever happened in the coin collecting world happened last year. It was crazy. And so people are just desperate to be able to get their hands on what you're seeing right there. And that'll be coming up. Another brand new launch saved for this hour too. Mike, this is really cool. This is a big old set, a five coin set with a flag core. Kind of explain what you you did in this collection yeah i think actually i think we have a slight mistake there i don't think that price is correct i think that's supposed to be 599 dollars can we double check that we shall indeed. that is the mint state set the mint state five coin set type one type two all five silver eagles we had it in pcgs uh, the, we had the uh, uh, the uh, uh, proof set that I think is supposed to be $999.95. So let's go ahead and look at that. It is all the 1921s that you're going to have, uh, or the 2021, sorry, the 2021, all five of the United States Silver Eagles, the Type 1 from the Philadelphia Mint emergency issue, San Francisco Mint emergency issue, West Point Mint, and then the Type 2, we had the regular West Point Mint and the San Francisco emergency Mint. Absolutely absolutely crucial for you to do that. Okay, guys, so we've had several items last hour sell out. I don't know if you're just now tuning in, but we've had a lot of coins last hour gone, completely gone. I will keep you updated on the big Morgan set because that's down to just two left. So you've got this really unique opportunity. If you want to get a very impressive, really quite highly collectible set, grab those last two of the Morgan set that we did a little encore presentation. But this next one, we actually expect to sell out early on it too. 2021, it is perfect. Annex, first day of issue limited edition of the silver kennedy half dollar so mike let's jump into this another silver coin different story or not <laughs> oh i got okay guys so here we go it's on sale i gotta point that out to begin with and then michael join us in just a second the original price was 209 dollars 95 cents now one thing about selling coins it's money money on sale is even more delicious than just regular money so we actually have a lower price in this available and it's with three flex pays tonight so mike again you know we're talking silver but in this case it happens to be the kennedy half dollar why is this significant in the coin collecting world well first of all the kennedy half dollar 
was made originally in silver in 1964. They stopped making it in silver in 1970. They started making it again when they started making silver proof sets in 1997. And, and the silver Kennedy has always been, I have like a nationally advertised catalog here and I'll go through it. And the silver Kennedys are always the coins that everybody wants. I mean, they can run $100, $125, $150 just for the silver coins ungraded and uncertified. No kidding. If you remember last year, I told you they did the advanced release program with those 18 special dealers of which were one of them. One year only program. This is advanced release. So this is only a tiny fraction of all of the Kennedy half dollars ever made by the United States Mint. And so what it does is it's not just the silver from last year, which is done in pure silver, 9999 fine now, okay, is what this is. But we have also got this as advance release. So the rarity of this is absolutely unprecedented in the Kennedy half dollar series. In advance release, this is the rarest Kennedy half dollar. I don't even think it's close. I'm looking at a nationally advertised catalog. In the 2012 Kennedy half dollar, for instance, individual ungraded, uncertified, $284. This coin is so significantly uh, rarer than that. I mean, it's not even funny because it's advanced release. Uh, and so, like I said, this is absolutely critically, critically important uh, uh, when you see when you when you see this in terms of opportunity. OK, in terms of opportunity. Uh, and so what it comes down to is very, very simply, it's the silver Kennedy, which in mint state seven, or in proof 70, because it's a proof silver coin, in proof 70, just period, it's about $129, $139, $149. The fact that we're able to do this in advance release, first of all, it's exclusive to us. There's 569 of these coins in existence. At $209.95, I mean, that's what they should all go for. But what I have is a one-time opportunity to basically buy this at the price of a regular silver Kennedy half dollar in proof 70 condition. And like I said, they just started doing the 9999 fine, the pure silver Kennedys, just a couple of years ago. And then to have first day release, but more importantly, to have it in that special advance release designation is absolutely positively critical. You need to be able to uh, uh, pick this up. It's a one-time only opportunity. What do we have in terms of quantities uh, remaining? We actually expect this to sell out, Mike. I mean, that's the notes that I have before I prep for the show. So we'll give you an update right now. So, Kevin, how are we doing on quantity, if you will? We will find out from Kevin in a moment. He's working on something else. We went, how right. many are left? Okay, there's 170 remaining. And again, that's worldwide. That's not like, you know, <laughs> Mike, he does search for coins all the time and maybe he will be able to find some down the road. But right now, that's what we have for the entire world. And remember, every single line you see right here on the front is so significant, which for extra, for all the lines that they add to it, means it becomes rarer and rarer and rarer and more unique. And again, with our three flex pays, it's an amazing coin. It's on sale. It's a one-time opportunity. In my notes, it says, sell out risk on this one because we have so few left and it's money on sale which is always lovely to get all right we're going to keep moving on because we have a lot we want to get into this show uh, a lot of new stuff that we're talking about really some exciting stories behind what's coming up this one is on sale as well mike i love money on sale it doesn't get better than that and we again are talking about 2021 uh this is first day of issue limited edition but it's an emergency silver eagle so can you kind of walk us through because that has a different obviously moniker than the last one did. Yeah, well, the United States government last year, and, and I talked about the 2021 uh, Silver Eagle when they changed the design, okay? That was last year in July. So the last year of issue of the old design, this heraldic design that you see right here was 2021. They only did it for half the year. Now, because it was problematic, because it was only for six months and because it was the very last coin done by the United States Mint, very last coin done by the United States Mint, they couldn't make enough. Remember, we've talked about this. There's a silver shortage. There's a shortage of blanks. There's a, uh, you know, the COVID pandemic is making the mint shut down. Right. They simply right. cannot keep up with demand. 
So when they made the West Point Minute coins to make the very last coin made by the United States Mint, when they did that, uh, the West Point Mint, which makes all of the, the Mint State American Silver Eagles, they couldn't keep up with it. So they asked for help. So they asked the San Francisco Mint to do an emergency production. That's what we call with emergency production. And so they asked the San Francisco Mint to do an emergency production, which, of course, they did. That, of course, sold out immediately. I mean, it, it, it helped for about two days. And as a last resort, they've only done it a couple of times in the history of the United States Mint. They asked the Philadelphia Mint to help and make this emergency issue American Silver Eagle to help out with this last gasp of the old American Silver Eagle that had been around for 36 years. That is absolutely uh, uh, critical for us to under uh, uh, for us to understand what this is. So so the rarest of all of the last 2021 American Silver Eagles is the Philadelphia Mint. It's not even close. Really? So no you kidding. Have West Point Mint. Right. And then you have 10 times rare the Philadelphia, or the San Francisco Mint, and then twice as rare as that is the Philadelphia Mint. Wow. So that's a huge deal. But we have this in Mint State 70, and that's the key to collectability. It's not just that it's the rarest of the last year of issue of the American Silver Eagle. It's not just that, okay? This is probably one of the most conditionally rare Silver Eagles ever made by the United States Mint. And what do I mean by conditionally rare? Remember, we always say buy the highest grade you can afford. The single most important determining factor of value is what is conditioned. Yes. So certain American Silver Eagles are very, 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 very difficult to get in Mint State 70, okay? Very difficult to get in Mint State 70 condition. This coin embodies that, and let me explain to you why. Not only did it, was it made in tiny quantities, but it was made at the Philadelphia Mint. The Philadelphia Mint is not used to making Mint State American Silver Eagles. So this is the way the boxes come. They come in these, these tubes that you see here. Well, the West Point Mint, they're packed by machines. The Philadelphia Mint, they're not used to making them, so they're made by hand. I mean, Anytime by you, you, you have the human element as a part of this, you have got issues. You have got problems. You have got, uh, you just can't get them in Mint State 70 condition. So what happened with this is, is that we bought thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of these coins. Well, I bought the biggest position that there was in these coins. We have a limited edition at 3,600. That probably represents every single solitary Mint State 70 uh, uh, coin that, that I know of around there. As a matter of fact, I don't even think we got anywhere near 3,600 in the, in the edition. I think we ended up with, what well, we put an addition on it, we assume these coins grade at a certain level. They didn't. There's fewer than 1,000 of these in Annex uh, uh, that we have in first day issue. There's well fewer than 1,000 of these coins because they didn't grade well. Normally, you'd expect 30 or 40 percent of these coins to grade Mint State 70 perfect because there's always going to be little imperfections. With the Philadelphia Mints, that number was single digits. Not only is it the rarest American Silver Eagle from 2021, but in Mint State 70, it's the rarest Silver Eagle by an order of magnitude. I mean, we're talking about 10 times rare, 50 times rare, 100 times rare. That is the importance of this. These are the only coins that I have left that I can do Mint State 70. And I just said, okay, let's give everybody an opportunity. The only coin that comes close to this in terms of conditional rarity is the 1996 American Silver Eagle. No kidding. The 1996 American wow. Silver Eagle. In Mint State 69 is a $169 coin. In Mint State 70, it's a $7,000 coin. Wow. The difference is the grade. In this coin right here, Mint State 69 is easy to get. You get them all. It's the, probably the least expensive uh, uh, American Silver Eagle in Mint State 69 of the 21st century because they're all Mint State 69. The coin, what you can't find is Mint State 70s. What you can't find is coins that are absolutely positively perfect. That's the problem. That's the issue. That's why you need to get this coin. It is perfect. It is conditionally rare. It is exclusive to us. It's the rarest coin of 2021. It's the very last time this Silver Eagle was made, this uh, heraldic Silver Eagle that was made by the United States Mint. It was started in 1986, and this is the very last coin. They made the very 
last coins at the Philadelphia Mint. They're the rarest of all of those. They're one of the rarest of all of the Mint State American Silver Eagles that have ever been done by the United States Mint. I mean, I think it's the third rarest uh, Mint State coin ever done by the United States Mint uh, because it was done at Philadelphia. I think there's only three or four Philadelphia Mint coins in the 21st century that are Mint State American Silver Eagles, and none of them are as hard to get in Mint State 70s. And this by the way, we didn't get time to talk about it, but there's no Mint mar Mark on there. And there's a whole collectible story behind the fact that we know these are from the Philadelphia Mint. They were actually minted in Philadelphia. Um, that That's just a whole other story there, uh, Mike. <laughs> but that's whole fine. Other, whole other animal. Whole other animal. But it's a part of their story. It's a part about how rare and unique and distinct that coin is. Uh, that's why they bring the green box out. Whenever you see the green box, that means uh, that they, they there's different ways they can find out where they were minted because there's no mint mark on it. But most of the coins, you never know if they were minted in Philadelphia. They have to go through very specific steps to be able to uh, put that as a moniker on the actual uh, little label that you see because that's a really big deal that it's a Philadelphia Mint and they could prove it which is important okay so now we're going to move on to this and this is from Annex and this is another uh, uh, um, a Silver Eagle coin but in this case we're talking about the San Francisco label and of course that you can see on that exclusive core this is also on sale like again money on sale is pretty amazing <laughs> it originally was two oh nine ninety five. I love it we have sales on a uh, sale on money and now it's one seventy nine ninety five. dollars lowest price we've done and it has three flex pays what makes this difference obviously we can see the golden gate bridge back there why is that significant well he, he, we had this transition okay we had this transition of the American Silver Eagle. Look, uh, uh, President Ronald Reagan signed the Liberty Coin Act in law in 1985, and we ended up with this heraldic eagle. Adolf E. Wyman designed the front of this coin, actually in 1916, for the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, was reprised for the Silver Eagle. John Mercanti designed the reverse of this coin, this heraldic eagle. Well, in 2021, they changed this design. They changed this design, and they changed the design halfway through the year. They changed it in July of 2021. Uh, uh, they made the new design. But the United States government makes Silver Eagles three ways, okay? They make a mint state coin, they make a burnished coin, and they make a proof American Silver Eagle that you see right here, okay? And they make the proof Silver Eagle at both the West Point Mint and the San Francisco Mint. So the San Francisco minted coin was made in 2021 for type two, but it was never made for type one. So what this is, is in proof San Francisco, this is the very last S minted proof Silver Eagle ever made by the United States Mint. Oh, wow. And we have to go all the way back to 2020 to get this. And this is something that kind of, in all honesty, even I overlooked. Because they made the S mint, because they made the W mint of the old design in 2021, but they never made the S mint. Once again, we're into the shortages of the shortage oh, of silver. Yeah. So they had the shortages of silver. They have the blank shortages. They had the, the problems with making down. the points on the line. Right. And then all of a sudden, I'm looking back in my inventory here, this literally this week, and I go, 2020, why do and then I go, oh, that's right. It's the last S-minted, the last S-minted proof heraldic Silver Eagle. So I said, okay, let's do something that basically is, a, there's, a, when the brand new Silver Eagle comes out this year, the brand new one, just the regular Silver Eagle, 179.95, can't get it done. 199.95, not gonna get it done. It's gonna be 209, 219, 229. There's not a single solitary, not a single solitary proof American Silver Eagle in proof 70 condition that I can sell you at $179 other than this coin right here, right now. And it was basically, I was going, okay, I overlooked this. I was kinda, I did something I shouldn't have done here. And I've got <laughs> these, I have these at the old price. Cause then in 2021, the United States Mint raises prices substantially on proof Silver Eagles. Substantially. I think they raised prices 30, 40 percent on proof Silver wow. Eagles. So I got some of these at the old price. So I was finally able, this is the very last proof Silver Eagle that I can do in proof 70 condition at 179. Now, you noticed earlier and mentioned earlier with the San Francisco bridge label that we have there. 
That's because it was made at the San Francisco Mint. Right. So we only do the San Francisco Bridge label when we do a San Francisco minted coin. Well, wait, so Mike, let me ask this question really quick because I know we're busy for this one, but I want to slip yes. it in before oh, it, it sells be. out. Yeah, no, because this okay. is a really big deal, guys. So it's, it, you just, if you haven't been following along, this entire last couple of years has been up and down and lack of, and they did a type one and a type two. So I can see how this got overlooked but talk about the rarity of the rare of the rare because everybody's trying to grab the type one and type two which was or the the last of the 2020 before the 2021 ended and then they did the type two in 2021 well, this yeah, one definitely got lost because this is the last going back to 2020 of the san francisco uh, of a proof i that's so like it's subsets of rarity in this example it fell through the cracks right. is what happened. That's it crazy. Just absolutely. Because everybody's like, okay, the transition year is 2021. Right. So all the proof coins were both made, you know, the old coin and, you know, type one and type two were all made in 2021, whether it be W Mint made, you know, made in May. Right. Okay. And so on and so forth. But then all of a sudden you realize, okay, they did not make a 2021 S Mint type one American Silver Eagle. They right. did not make that. So this becomes... The, the end last. of the line for the heraldic eagle. So it was yeah. had this first from 1986 until 2021, but the S mint was last made in 2020, which That's is this crazy. Great. And not only that, so it's not only a specialized coin in terms of the last S mint coin ever made by the United States Mint in the heraldic or old design. But the price I can do on this is online. I can't do the brand new coin within $40 of this, $30, $30, $40. The brand new coin is going to be absolutely positively uh, uh, crucial for this. That's that's a great that's a great story. Oh my God, again, how fascinating is that too? So everybody goes, and here's the thing, Mike. Again, because he's researching all this, he will discover even in his own collections that he has. He goes, oh wait, we overlooked this one. Think about how many people don't even realize that whole story until tonight. Think about how many people, Mike, haven't got a clue that they need to have this as a part of their collection if you're collecting the American Silver Eagles. Maybe you just buy, you know, you collect the San Francisco Mint. I mean, maybe that's your thing. There's a ton of people, if Mike didn't realize it and overlooked it, most of the coin collecting world does not even recall this, but it's actually essential to add this to your collection if you're getting the original design design which officially ended in 2021 but in this case it ended in 2020 so very underlooked it's just one of those things as mike said it fell through the cracks and he he found it and said oh my gosh even in my own collection but also he's giving us that great savings tonight too money on sale always a good time to buy it grab this one we still have it available and again before it is completely sold out all right we've got a lot going on too guys we got about a half an hour to go we're going to squeeze in a lot more awesome things including Including something that's brand new save for our show tonight and again very unique story on this one too mike uh 284.95 is the hsn price and of course we have three flex pays if you want to take advantage of this this once again mike we're kind of flipping back this is in your exclusive uh core correct yes exclusive core with the flag core that's a huge deal okay yes so i want to go back and i want to talk about burnished okay <clears throat> they didn't make a burnished so and, and it was interesting so for the last burnished type one <clears throat> also was 2020 oh no okay kidding. it was also 2020. wow yeah so because you have to understand remember they couldn't keep up with demand right. they didn't have enough silver the mint couldn't make coins that continues till today okay that continues till today so as the mint comes into 2021 and particularly july which is when they released the mint state coin they're going to do the mint state coin. They're going to do the proof coin. And of course, then they want to do the burnished coin since it's the brand new design. So they did the they did the mint state coin and it was monstrous. It was ridiculous. It was insane, okay, in terms of the demand. Then they did the proof coin and they did it at the West Point Mint and then they did it at the San Francisco Mint. Everything of that completely and totally it sold out and the mint just can't keep up with demand there either. They had to put limited editions on those coins, on coins they normally don't do limited editions on. But they felt obligated to make the burnished coin that you see right here, okay? The burnished coin that you see right here. 
And burnished means, and if you can flip this, uh, we have the reverse side there. The burnished means that it's it's a, a, a kind of a mint, uh, a mint state dye, but it's on special dyes. They were finished off with like these millions of little microscopic glass beads. It has a mint mark on it, it has a West Point mint mark on it. So that's really the way that you d denote that from the regular mint state coin. It's a special coin, this burnished or special finish, SP is what we call it as well. As it so happens, this is by far the rarest of the 2021 Type 2 Silver Eagles. So, you know, everybody likes the um, everybody likes the Type 2, you know, mint state coin. Well, they made a fair number of those, not enough. And then everybody wants the proof coin. But the coin that is the rarest, the coin that is sought after, and there's that W mint mark that you see right there. The coin that's the rarest, the coin that, and remember, this is the first year of issue or first half year of issue of this new design that will continue on for a minimum of 25 years. For a minimum of 25 years, this will continue on. This is the rarest of the first year of issue. And it also happens to be the first half year of issue. So when we look at rarity and proof coins, you make a million coins, 750,000 coins. I mean, when you look at coins that, I mean, some of the like uh, reverse proof coins, coins that can bring thousands of dollars, you're looking at mintages that are about 250,000. The burnished coin here had 150,000 no mintage kidding. for the regular burnished. And issue. how did it grade? It, yeah. How oh, they, they, they graded okay, not great, not horrible. Okay. But the key to this is, is I have them. I, I have not sold this in months and months. When these first came out, they sold out, of course, instantaneously from the United States Mint. I'm they sure. sold out instantly from the United States Mint. I have only these coins. I don't have them in first day of issue. I don't have them in Annex. I don't have them in NGC first day of issue. I don't have them in any other way other than this flag core. Now, remember, flag core NGC is also exclusive to me. I have never offered burnished flag core here at HSN. Wow. This is so a one-time opportunity. So the sum total of all of the coins, okay, of all of the coins that I am able to put together in flag core burnished mint state 70 is 200 coins. The 200 coins wow. I'm offering right here. The very <laughs> first year of issue the very rarest of all of the coins made by the United States Mint in burnished proof or mint state, and now is your opportunity. One time, we Wait, will get Mike, one. Mike, let me ask you a question. Did, did they make a burnished 2021 type one? No. So they just went right to the two, skipped the one. They skipped the one. Uh, same thing. Remember, we had talked about this in a big way. We yeah. talked about this because the United States Mint, because of COVID protocols. Remember, the West Point Mint was shut down for two weeks. The San Francisco Mint was shut down for four weeks. Right. They couldn't make any coins with that. They didn't have enough silver. Uh, demand was going through the roof. So they demand just ran out of time. They just said, we can't even bother with the Type 1, the original Wait, we design. Can't, we got to make the Type 2s because it's the brand new coin. Right. We got to make Because look, if they would have made 500,000 of this coin, that would have sold everyone. If they made a million this coin that has sold every one of them. Right. They made a million proof coins that has sold every single solitary one of them. They made 150. That's all they could wow. get out. That's, that was it. They that's sold amazing. Out in seconds from the United States Mint. So I have never offered this here at HSN and Flag Corps before. Oh my gosh. Okay, Flag Corps burnished I've never done before, okay. let alone at this price. I think the original price when we put, because I mean, they quadrupled in price immediately. Oh, I'm sure they did. I think the lowest price I've sold the burnished for is 329 or 349. Wow. So not only do I have burnished, not only do I have it 70, not only do I have it flag core, I have it at the lowest price I've done the type two burnished at, but only for these 200 coins. So like you said, when you talk about this money on sale kind of thing, that's exactly what we're looking at here. That's exactly, that is the crucial part of this. And you get one shot at this. You well, get one shot at this. Well, I'm not looking. But, but you know, Mike, I, I want to because I want you want to talk a little bit to people who maybe are don't understand how important this is. And by the way, there's like 170 left. This is going to be a sellout. 
you have to understand they've been making the American Silver Eagle year after year after year, then they changed the design. So you would think, oh, okay, because they've made, and the when you start to get to these um, specific ones like Burnished, he was explaining, those are a subset of just making the regular American Silver Eagle. And then they were supposed to make it and make it in the old design and then make it in the new design in Burnished. They just completely gave up. They said, no, we're not even gonna do the Burnished in the type one, which is the old design. We're just gonna skip right to the two because we have to, according to, you know, the, the mint and it's a, it's they're required to do this they went to the burnished so this is like the subset of the subset of the subset mike <laughs> like it's it's one of those really really unique stories and a wildly rare opportunity to be able to get this one mike i, I think this is one of the most interesting stories you've shared with us in this whole crazy type one type two uh event that happened that had never happened before in the history of the u.s mint yeah, and what happens is, is the burnished coins tend to fall by the wayside anyway. They fall between the cracks. Mm -hmm. I love the burnished. They're my favorite silver eagles to collect because I think they're fantastic value for what their rarity is. Now, you have to understand this transition of the American silver eagle, this transition to the new design. Yes. It's literally a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, certainly for me. I mean, when they first made it in 1986, they went all the way to 2021, 36 years. By law, they can't change it again for another 25. Right. So like I said, in 25 years, I won't be here selling this coin. Okay, I promise you that. That's an absolute positive guarantee, 100% <laughs> guaranteed, all right? So the transition is <clears throat> the transition is critical in American numismatics. It's ridiculously important. And of the and they were only able to do it for six months because of all the other restrictions out there, right? Right. right. So if they'd have made it for the whole year, they couldn't have kept up, let alone for half of it. So now you can't make enough mint state coins. But the proof coins are short by a million. Wow. But they want to make burnish because it's the first year of issue. It's their one opportunity to get this in. And since 1990, uh, when it was in 2006, they've been making the burnish coin for 15 years now, added it in. They've always made Min State improved. Then in 2006, they added burnish. Those are the three regular issue Silver Eagles. The burnished is almost always, 90% of the time, the rarest. It is no different this time. It is significantly rarer than any other coin that was made in 2020, 2021 with the brand new design. This is the coin. I mean, uh, the three regular coins. You know, I mean, right. they did a uh, they did a reverse proof coin, but those are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And they made actually the mintage is about the same. <laughs> no like kidding. Yeah, I think the reverse proof they made 125,000 of. So I mean, this is basically as rare as the as the reverse proof at a half or a third of the price. I mean, this is the one to get in on. I had it one time, and I've never done it in Flag Core, which of course is exclusive to me here. You know, my company, I'm the only one that can sell Flag Core on the whole planet. Okay, so I've got Flag Core, I've got Burnished, I've got Perfection, I've got my lowest price for a Burnished American Silver Eagle. Spectacular opportunity. I started with 200 and 200 only. This is what you got. You got two minutes to get in. We got two minutes. We're going to sell the last hundred in the last two minutes. I love that. I, I love this. So it's first year of issue. So, so when you look about collectability, what are the boxes you want to tick? You know what I'm saying? What are the boxes you want to check? So you want to talk about first year of issue, big, that's a double check, okay? Perfection, Mint State 70, absolutely a box you have to check, right? Then you're going to have the rarest coin of the year in the regular issue. That's a box that you check, okay? Then you have the exclusivity of the flag core. That's another box. So every one of these things that add to the collectability, to the desirability of what happens in the American Silver Eagle is all part and parcel of this coin right here. And then to be able to do it at 284.95, I couldn't do any of them last year when they first came out at 284. I mean, just our regular issue first day of uh, your know, first day of issue annex, I think, was 349 or 379. And it sold out, sold 600 coins in an airing. So for us to be able to do this at 284. OK, as a one time opportunity, as a one time issue, as a one time deal, that is 100 percent what you need to take advantage of. I was so happy. And and, and if uh, Cassie, if you're watching, who's our great buyer here, I mean, she moved heaven and earth just to get it in the <laughs> show. When you talked about earlier that yeah. like you're in makeup and get the addition. 
Yeah, no, it happened. Yeah, they That's actually. The coin. It, this is this it, is the coin, right? Yeah, here. this is the coin. There's a couple coins, a couple things that they added to the show at the very last second, and it's because some of these deals we've had it where where Mike has literally put someone on a plane with <laughs> a coin to get it to the studio in time to get it on the air. I've had that happen several times, and that's what makes it so exciting. Like even those of us who do the shows a lot, you never know up until you literally. And sometimes that happens. In fact, we've got a correction on that big coin set coming up. That right. happened within the last 15 minutes, guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a roller coaster when you go to do a coin show. But that's the excitement of it, guys. These are going to be gone. They're going to be sold out. It's like the rarer of the rarer of the rarer of the rare is kind of how I interpret everything that Mike says. And it's a really, really big deal. The fact that they were like, okay, we're just going to do this. It's the first time you can get it in, of course, the burnished. And you're getting the Type 2, which is the, it is the new. It is the new version of the world's most successful and most highly collected book. Leon, which is the American Silver Eagle, and it's in the burnished, and it's perfect. So that kind of sums it up. We've got 64 left, but I have a lot of you on the line. I have a ton of you going to .com, which is totally the way to grab that, because we will let you know when this is sold out. All right, remember I said exciting How things happen. Yes, it's a $400 sale right now. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, crazy stuff happens when it comes to our coin shows, and this is a great example of that. <laughs> we started out, I showed you it was $9.99. Mike's like, no, 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 no. We did a much better price than that. And yes, we were at $599.95. So but thanks for hanging out. My dyslexia came through when I would put these in. What did you say? I, 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 I juxtaposition two of these coins. And I find out on the air, of course. How, <laughs> how am I doing? So, there you go. <laughs> thank goodness our great team was able to fix this so we can do this correctly for, uh, uh, for the show. So we fantastic. got it right. Okay, so now this is really uh, amazing. Like, this, this is, is the wow of this hour for sure. There's no doubt. So last show that we had, which was last week, yes, I did a five coin PCGS set that was basically all this at five ninety nine. We had two hundred and fifty sets of those that were gone instantly. And I had a guy call me. I was missing one of the coins for flag court. He says I got those coins. I can get those. Are coins. Are you serious? And, and only you couldn't because do the set. The you couldn't do Only the set. I watched the show last week because yeah, I was missing one of the coins completely and another one of the coins mostly. So I was able to fill that in and I was able to get, so here's what we have in flag core, never before offered. Never before offered could I do flag core on these five coins. So uh, we've been talking about this, I've been talking about this last 20, 30 minutes, right? This transition of the American Silver Eagle from the old design to the new design. And if you go to that bottom shelf, you can actually see it in action. You can see the transition from the old design to the new design. I sold all these coins kind of individually. These are the mint state coins. The United States Mint in 2021 did five different mint state American silver eagles. Never before have they done more than three. And the only time they've done three was in 2015 they did three. And that three coin set in mint state 70 condition, that three coin set's going to run you about five thousand oh dollars for the three point set in 2015 because of the philadelphia minted coin that one that's going to be the tough one to get here too so in 2021 you had the old design and we just were talking about what this you're the right there. Design, the this end is the of an old era. design here these three that's right the king is dead okay this is no With longer that. being that's produced the they made it at the philadelphia at the west point mint the okay. west point mint couldn't keep up so they did an emergency issue at the San Francisco Mint, which sold out instantly and didn't help at all. <laughs> then they did the Philadelphia Mint. Remember we were selling the Philadelphia Mint coin just a few minutes ago? Right. Right? That was 189 was the HSN price on just the Philadelphia Minted coin. And that's the rarest one of all. We include the Philadelphia Minted coin at Mint State 70. Wow. And I can promise you there's Philadelphia Minted uh, uh, Mint State 70 coins out there. You can spend $599 on Type 1. Then they came out with the brand new Type 2s, also in 2021. So we had the transition intra-year. They did the West Point Mint. They couldn't keep up. So they did the emergency issue San Francisco. It helped a little, but it was sold out instantaneously. 
I suspect they were calling the Philadelphia man. They said, we had enough of those shenanigans in the first first half of the year. We're not going to deal with that hmm. uh, because they were so bad. I mean, the coin, the quality of the Philadelphia minute coins from the type one was just horrible. That's why in mint state 70, they're so conditionally rare. It's probably the second most conditionally rare silver eagle in the entire United States uh, silver eagle collection from 1986 to date. Only, I think, the 96, maybe the 95 is as rare in mint state 70 as the Philadelphia minted as a percentage of mint as the mint state 70 so so there we have those are the three coins all in 2021 all the entire transition three different mints of the, of the type one two different mints of the type two we've got all five coins as a complete and total set of five at literally a hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety five cents a coin at one hundred and nineteen dollars try find type ones for less than 169 179 199 for any of the type ones they are harder to get even than the type twos I'm and if sure. we go up above that not only that i've got them in my exclusive flag core okay that i've never done before here at hsn never on hsn have i i've done the five coin flag i've sold every one of these coins individually and i guarantee for significantly more than 599 dollars so you have the emergency production P, the emergency production S, the regular West Point Mint Type 1. Then you have the West, then the emergency S Mint Type 2, and okay. then the regular issue Type 2. So the largest single That's year great. production of the United States Mint in its history, in its history, five coins in one year with one phone call, you can get them for basically the price that I charge for the 2022 this year. Wow. All the emergency productions, both San Francisco type one and type two, the Philadelphia type one, the West Point men type one and type two, the entire thing at $599. Now the one guy helped me out on one of the coins. Interestingly enough, it was the type one S mint that really? I was completely out of, couldn't get. I had the P mints, okay? And I didn't have the type two S mints. I had a few of them and I was and he sold me both of those. So this is just not a set. And at $119.95 a coin, I don't know that I can sell you individually. The S-Mint yes, yes, Type 2s, I think we sold 5,000 coins at $149. Yeah, let me find the S-Mint yes, too. Ones, I think we sold three or 4,000 coins at $159 or $169. I've never done these coins at $109. The Philadelphia Mint's never been sold at $119.95. <laughs> The lowest price in NGC I've ever done on that coin is $199, that first coin over on there. On this one here. The lowest price is $199. That I've ever done that for. And in it, NGC, not just flight car, I mean NGC. Right, right. Okay. So to get the entire set. Now, just because this guy helped me out and got me coins doesn't mean that this set is unlimited. Okay. It is absolutely positively not unlimited. As a matter of fact, I think, what do we have in the system? Three or 400 sets? I mean, so when I mean he helped me out, he helped me out with a box. So I was able to get, a, actually on the estimates, I'd have two boxes to get like 375 coins. No kidding. Seal, sealed boxes, just like this. I got uh, the 20, 20, he says, yeah, I got some boxes. I can sell you how much. He goes, hey, Mike, well, well We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Let me give you a quick update, though. Of all of them, the sets that we have available right now, we've got about 190 sets left. And then wow. that's completely sold out. And like I said, yeah. it's so fun to walk into the show because we get these last minute editions. And then we're doing this like, whoops, $400 less than we started the show off with. Um, and again, this is something that you and I as normal Joe Schmoes would have an almost impossible time putting together. It, Mike, it, you know, what you were saying, Mike, is, you know, you had this guy. Well, that's because he has a ton of really great connections to be able to finish off one of the rarest sets that we'll show today. I mean, this really is a highly unusual set. For any of us to be able to dig around and find these very specific things that were launched at one part of the year and then launched at another part of the year and then there was an emergency to have to make more because everything, everything was so messed up last year when it came to the American Silver Eagle. And this is kind of the summation of it, Mike, actually, which is sort of funny. You know, you've actually summed up the whole year in one kit or one collection it, it, it's one thing and it, it's funny you know because we you know we have the whole world in the palm of our hands here so i called up this uh, I, I called up the website of, of, uh, of a dealer that i know okay it's a wholesale thing it, it, you have to sign in type one silver eagles of which we have three there 
are selling at almost triple the premium to type twos, which is selling at almost double the premium of what we're gonna be on 2022. Really? Just, and 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 so that's so how ones. difficult those first three coins are, the These type tickets. one coins, those yeah. coins. Because what happened is, is while the type twos were released in July, yeah. the, the government started making those in about April. Right, so okay? the type one was shortened. Right, yeah, they stopped making those in April, the type ones. Which, which and no, so they Mike, just, well, that, well, Mike, that's why Mike, they had to have help from the San Francisco men and the Philadelphia For the emergency, and but Mike, wait, explain this enough. though. Explain it, normally they make, how long do they make a normal year's American Silver Eagle? How many months? Oh, they make it for 12 months. For 12 months, guys. Yeah, I mean, I mean so they make it for 12 months. That's I mean, why these huge. first three, if they stopped making them in April, that's normally 12 months of making these coins. They make three Not, months, four months. They're four months, so that's what he's talking about. That's that's why these first three are, have become tougher and tougher and more expensive individually to be able to get because the right. run, so to speak, was so much, it was truncated and they've never ever and done that before. And it's even worse than that, Suzanne. The United States Mint just released their mintage figures from 2021. Okay. So you're looking at the two rarest silver eagles by the United States, the W Mint coins. Forget about the emergency <laughs> issue stuff, no which kidding. is rare, 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 rare. I'm talking about just the regular W Mint. Those are two of the rarest American silver eagles of the last 20 years. In terms of mintage. And it's the last and the first. The most desirable, and now they're the rarest. <laughs> of the Basically That's the perfect. rarest of the 21st century. Wow. The type one and the type two, because they couldn't make them. They didn't have the silver. They only made them for six months or four months for the type ones. And then of course, then you had the COVID pandemic in full force in 2020, shutting down the West Point men, shutting down the San Francisco men. They couldn't keep up with the design. You know, you had the run on physical silver. Silver went absolutely positively crazy on top of that as well. So for me to be able to put together all five of these coins right here, right now in one opportunity at one chance with one deal right here, right now, in flag core at $120 a coin is something. So from a numismatic standpoint, the most significant numismatic thing, I think certainly of the last 25 years is the change in the design in the American Silver Eagle. Some people would argue the state quarters, but I would say it's the change of the American Silver Eagle. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. And they did it Intra year, which the United States government hasn't done in forever, where they made two coins, you know, two different coins in the same year. Right. So we have an intra year series here. So Change. you have all the last of the coins and all here, the here. first new coins in the same year. I don't suspect that'll ever happen again. Certainly not in my lifetime, and certainly absolutely not in the American Silver Eagle. Well, the United States government will never make a five coin set of Mint State American Silver Eagles right. ever again. Ever again, yeah. Well, and I'll, just, I'll tell you something really funny though too, Mike, just to add to that. So every year I launch the new coins with Mike. So now we go back, because of all the stuff that happened last year, go back to 2020 going into 2021. They knew the design, this back of this design, the Eagle was gonna change. So that was the story. I came in that night, we're all this story. Oh my goodness, for the first time ever, they're changing this design. So you wanted the last of the old one, you wanted the first of the new one. Then it was a complete surprise. They said, oh no, no, we're gonna go ahead and do the old design for a few more months into the new year. And then mid year, we're gonna switch to the new design. And that changed the whole game. And here you literally have the summation of how crazy last year and this year has been. <laughs> Actually, almost three years going on, but this is it. And it's an awesome time to get this. This is such a rare combination of these five coins. Grab it while you can, guys. We have what, maybe, 100 left? Okay, no, I've got, a, officially I've got about 140 left, and then this is totally sold out. I need to give you an update on the other coin we talked about because it's almost gone, okay? So here we go, I have three dozen left of this coin you're gonna see right here. This is the 2021, and it's NGC. It's the W Mint T2 Burnish Silver Eagle Flag Core. Mike had said, hey, this is absolutely a super rare, rare coin, and if you wanna pick it up, especially if you're kinda of sitting on the fence, I get it, or maybe you're waiting for the whole show to kinda of end, grab that one there's only a couple of dozen now remaining and that will not be here tonight it won't be here tomorrow for sure because what happens a lot of people watch the whole show and then they shop like crazy after it's done and then tomorrow you'll go online and go oh man that one's sold out and mike sells thousands of coins online without us even putting them on the oh. air so grab that one before it's gone yes mike did you say something yeah, well, at hsn.com, we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of coins that'll never be on the air because we don't have enough. 
Yes, oh, absolutely. We'll have just dribs and drabs of it, yeah. Okay, Mike, so now we're gonna talk about this next one. How does this differ from the one we just saw? Obviously, the price is higher, but there's definitely well, a specific reason why. Yeah, these, these are, are the proof points. Yeah, these are, these are the goodies. <laughs> yeah, and, and so, uh, so you have the type one, and we did one type one. Now, now in the mint state, there were three type ones and two type twos. Okay. In the proof, there's one type one and two type twos. Wait, hold on. There's one type one in the proof and two uh -huh. type twos. Got it. So make sure see, I got that right. See them right there. Right. So because here's, they only, here's they, the remember, old design. I, right. Remember, we I told you they didn't make an S mint. Right. In right. the type one. That's why the 2020 S that we sold before was the last one. Okay. Right. Okay. So they didn't do an S in the type one. So that's the very last type one proof silver eagle. Now here's the problem with these. And then we did the, the, the West Point mint type two and the San Francisco mint pipe two, type two. Which are here. Traditionally, the United States mint makes the American silver eagles, the proof silver eagles all year. They make them to order, what they call to order. So as people order them, as they sell out, then they make more and, you know, they do all of those things, right? Mm -hmm. So they put all of that together. They did not do that in 2021. They had to put mintage limits on all of the proof silver eagles. And good luck finding those. Now, this is the same situation. I have about 300 sets. A guy uh, helped me fill in, and actually was the type one, the W mint type ones. The lowest price... I have sold this three coin set for an MGC prior to this, and that was in my dual core, okay, not fly core, was $1,299. So for me to be able to do this at $999.95, I've not sold these proof coins for less than $400 a piece. I mean, oh I just had it. It was a one time deal, one time deal where we have now this is the complete proof offering from 2021. They've never done more than two proof coins in a year. They've done a W and an S and they've done that off and on, but they've never done three proof coins in a same year. Right, because the they American. did a type one and type two. It was that weird situation. It's that weird situation where you have the transition that is intra-year. And, and, and so I, I can't impress upon you enough how important this intra-year change is for the American silver eagle. The fact that they changed the design one in, once, once in 60 years plus, they're going to make this design change. Once in my lifetime, they're going to make this design change, and they did it intra-year. And so I think it makes it, I don't know, you know, they weren't supposed to do it on purpose. The fact that they did, I think, makes this a, I mean, it makes it collectible for the ages. It makes it something, I, I wish they'd have done it on purpose. It just worked out right. that way. And I think it worked out so perfect that you get both transition coins, the old design and the new design in the same year. They happen to make two of the type twos because, you know, with the new design, they wanted to get as many issues in as they could. Sure. Although on the mint state, there was more type ones. So it's absolutely fascinating. This is the entire proof collection. The prior one was the entire mint state collection right okay right which is in the top, five coin and the coin before that the burnish was the entire 2021 burnished edition there was one coin there was one in 2021 <laughs> in the burn and you've seen it all tonight one burnish, three proof five mint states there you go that's right and thus a very exciting show hey mike uh, really quickly we're going to remind everybody about the kennedy half dollar just give us a quick summation if you don't mind yeah, hey, it's not just the Silver Kennedy Half Dollar, it's the advanced release. It was a one year only uh, a program done by the United States government where they released 10% of the coins early. Uh, and this, this was the, not only the Silver Kennedy and Proof 70, but in the advanced release, first day of issue exclusive to us here at HSN. And it's on sale, money on sale, always a good time to pick it up. Trust me, believe me. It's uh, coins, are the price is going up and up and up. That one actually went down. Mike, thank you for an awesome two hours. That was really fun. It was so good to have you with us today. Fun as always. All right, take care. Hey, by the way, join me. I will be back, but tomorrow night I will only be on Facebook. I do a Facebook live show at 9.30 every Tuesday night, and it's really fun because it's very different than what we do on the air. It's all about getting creative. You guys play a big role in it. I have hundreds and hundreds of people who join us, and we have a ball. It's just a very different show. So that's tomorrow night I'll be back, but it's on HSN's Facebook page, or you can link through my Facebook page, Suzanne Runyon on HSN. And if you follow me on my Facebook page, then you'll see reminders and also see what I'm doing in my life and the crazy thoughts I have that I post on my Facebook page. So thanks for hanging out with me. I know, let's see, Adam's coming up. He's got his open house. We're about to take another look 
at a beautiful today's special. If you are not sleeping well, if you're going to bed at night just dreading getting in and getting on that mattress, we've got the solution with Adam and it's coming up in his show. What really separates a house from a home? A home should provide comfort, coziness, and convenience. Join me on Monday nights where I'll be giving you great ideas for your home, your kitchen, and your life. HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900.